I must say, I'm very, very proud of you. Thank you, boss. Your presentation was fantastic. <laughs> it was very impressive. Thank you. And um, today, you made us proud. <laughs> Thank you. And I think if they continue with that strategy, if they're wise enough to do that, by the end of this year, I'm going to be a billionaire. Absolutely. In fact, yeah. quarterly. <laughs> by the way, where's Greg? He should be back by... Greg's here! Where have you been? Man, you get this big out of the charity in sense. Until last night she gave me the green light. So. And as your guy, we know one for your hand. I guess... Oh, oh my lord. Is that supposed to make me laugh? Okay, chill. Ah, somebody cannot play with you. What are you playing for? Working hours, you are playing. Be serious, so Jerry. This is how I used to do. <sighs> All right. Um, I went to seal the deal with the Ministry of Information. So? So what? Damn. You don't trust me? Signed, sealed, and delivered. Aha. Uh -huh. And guess what the best part is? We even got a sub license for every government agency in our region. And they're all getting to our new software. That means every higher institution in Nigeria now gets to use our IGO, IGO plan. plan. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, That's a yeah, very so good one. Oh. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's 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 a good one. You know, I'm very impressed. Well, we did class that year for school. Shebi, I was always jacking everything. You did backup engineer for sure. Now you see it's paying up, right? Isn't it? Excuse me. Uh, so tell me, who's your boss? You are the boss. Can you imagine? <laughs> you have to go down that road, right? <laughs> who's paying you? <laughs> I'm your boss, bro. But honestly, trust me, I'm, I'm very proud of you guys, man. I'm, I'm very proud of you guys. So, um... Kindly tell the accountant to prepare the uh, quotation and send it to my mail. Oh, sure, bro. I owe you guys lunch, right? Well, we're doing this, right? Good. I've never tested a better daiquiri. Just strawberry daiquiri is... Uh, hey! Uh, 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 it's your uh, turn to pay. Hope you know. Huh? Am I your boss? Is it not the one that just invited me for lunch? Uh-oh. Mm, lunch it is. I'll pay. Oh, thank That's you. Fine. I love it. I'll have white rice, vegetable sauce with chicken. Mm, yeah. Strawberry daiquiri for me. Okay. Veggie, please. And um, Long Island for the boys. All right. Three bowls of corn soup. Would that be all? Yes, that would be all. And please make it snappy. Okay, I will. And this hunger will keep us That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so hungry. Man. All right, guys, I was going to say that I'm very, very impressed with uh, Mrs. Sholonke, and I think we should review her pay check. What do you think? Oh, that's a very good idea. You know, she's, um, she has her hands on and on a very good negotiating terms. And if we can close our deal with high tech, then I think we'll remain at the top. Talking about that, Kay, how far? Are you still in contact with Mr. Hakim? Oh gosh, you need Jesus. Did you say I need Jesus? Yes, obviously. No, I need that in my life right now. Kay. What about Selena? What about her? The last time you were preaching to me how God told you that she might be the one. Well, God just spoke to me differently now. Ah. Excuse me, guys. Kay. <laughs> Kay. I just wish she turns it down. Lisa? 
turn him down? We both know Ulu Coyote, aka the Terminator. He never gets turned down. My name is Coyote. Are you here by yourself? Obviously. Uh, okay. Um, I'm a little busy over there. I'll just give you my card and you try to call me after lunch, all right? All right. Sorry, guys. I was actually uh, preaching the gospel. <laughs> How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Don't I deserve a hug? Come on. Oh. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm so Welcome to my house. Well, very nice place you have here. Thank you. Have a seat. Well, thank you. So, what do I offer you? Um, what's that? Red wine. Oh, I'll have that. Really? Do you have a problem with that? No, I was expecting you to say soft drink or something a little bit. No, this is just fine. This is yeah. fine? Very okay. All right, I'll get you another glass. Someone else? Um, not really, just. Um. <gasps> not really. How are you? Today's the minister's inauguration, and you're supposed to represent the company. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I can't. I have my hands full. Besides, I have to pay my mother a visit. What about both of you? You can handle it. Ooh, you sure have your hands full. Oh my God. I thought I told you to stay in the bathroom. Oh, you also said you won't be here for long. Plus, you didn't expect me to be locked up like a prisoner while you're passing time with your friends. What if it was my mother? Oh, thank goodness it isn't her. All right, that's it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Listen, I'll call you. Let's go. Mm. 
dude. Was that not the babe we met yesterday at Dunes? Hey, none of your business, all right? The minister is waiting for you, okay? Kayode, mama. Oh, look, Kayode, I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. I can't believe that the government actually bought into this your IGO plan. That's huge. Yes, mom, they did, oh, they did. Mom, we actually worked so hard creating that software. And we didn't do badly. And uh, you tried it at presentation and it worked. Oh, yes, mom, I did. Which wow. is why I was asked to create that software, to enable them sync in all the devices once the IGO plan has been launched. And trust me, Greg has been working tirelessly to achieve that. I'm so proud of you, my son. Thank you, mom. So, so proud of you. You've really made me <laughs> proud, son. I'm so proud of you. you. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. And look at it, your job is doing so well. Your business is flourishing and all that. Yes, sir. Oh, God bless you. Yes, sir. Thank you for making me proud. Thank you, mom. But uh, come to think of it, what's the use of all this accomplishment when actually you don't have a family of your own to go home to every day you know i'm retiring from the family business very soon and automatically you're going to take over the empire and that's what your father actually wanted and what i wanted for you was that uh, you know you pursue your first love thereafter you come and handle the family business Mom, I totally understand what you're saying. But I also need you to understand that finding a lifetime partner is not something you wake up one morning and decide to do. You have to, f you, you have to search. You have to look for that one person who would connect to your soul. You mean to tell me that all the girls you're going out with, no one has connected to your soul? Okay, tell me, what about that evil girl you introduced to me? You, you, I thought you said you liked her. I did. And so what caused the change? Mom, my feelings. She wasn't the type of girl I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Something was missing. She wasn't perfect for me. God, did I hear you say perfect? Are you perfect yourself? All the girls you're carrying around, are they perfect? No one is perfect except God Almighty. I just pray that... You just open your heart and your eyes and recognize the right girl that God destined for you. So that you don't miss, miss her in the process of frolicking around with girls. Mom, did I hear you say frolicking around with girls? Yes, of course. Yes. I've been busy with work. Oh, say that again. Tell that to someone else and me. I'm so sorry. You cannot go in. I'm so sorry. You have to wait for me to take on your first. Cannot just Lisa. I'm sorry, sir. I, I thought... that, that's all right. That's fine. That's all right. That's okay. Hi. Hey, hey. I don't remember inviting you to my office. This is my workplace. And I take my work very seriously. Okay? Kay, you've not been picking my calls. What would well, you have me do? Because I've been busy. I am a busy man. Okay? When I want to see you, I'll call you. You don't budge into my office like that. Anyways, I just figured you must be fatigued from work. I brought you lunch. Well, thanks for the food. That was very thoughtful of you, but I am busy. You might want to just leave. I'll probably talk to you later. Right, Kate, I'll leave, but okay, just one kiss. Listen, this is my work premises. You don't do that here. My I took it anyway, so I'll call you this time and please pick my calls. Bye, Kate.
Yeah, I don't move. Yeah, the girl that just walked in now. Yes. If I see her here again, you're fired. I said, if I see the young lady that just walked into this premises, if I see her here again, you're fired. Good. I beg now, you should dismiss so. Go so now tomorrow, I beg you. Dismiss too much. I beg food day. Yes, I made spaghetti. You are still stocky. You only entitled to two. Ah, oh, wow. So you don't reach out there with the count meet for this house now? I don't try. <laughs> I beg, how far? How work? Why there? As good as always. But I still yet to get the programming key. And the whole thing is frustrating, Kay, because we have a deadline to meet. Hmm. I can imagine. And on top of the whole heat, one of his nyash babes barged into the office. Apparently, Kay has been ignoring her in her calls. For real? Mm -hmm. hmm. Kay, Sha. But I don't know. I really don't know how Kay is comfortable with changing girls like they are used to parts. You know, the one way they even vex me now, the girls, because I they too disappointed in them. Because they act like they need a man in their life to stay happy. And in his defense, he does this because he's looking for love. <laughs> That's what he always says. And yet, love is staring at him in the face every day. Did you just say something? No, nothing. I did not say anything. You can have some. <laughs> Wait, now we can give you. Standing here? Well, long enough for you not to notice my presence. Is everything okay? Yeah. My mother, she collapsed. What? What happened? What happened to her? When? Where, where is she? Is she okay? The doctor says her blood pressure is high. I guess she's been thinking too much. Thinking? What will she be thinking about? Her two boys are doing very well. They are both successful and well-grounded. What is she thinking about? I wish that was the only problem. But she says her cure is for me to settle down. I mean, she's afraid I might end up without a wife. Oh! <laughs> you... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so... What do you intend to do about that? <laughs> I have to settle. But the question is, with who? I don't even know how to start. Why don't you just start um, by noticing the real and true love around you? <laughs> true love? It's funny because I don't even have a girlfriend. And you're talking about true love. You know, Nena, I used to think she's the one, but she ended up being just like every other random girl. 
You see, I need a girl. I need a wife. I need someone who would love me for me, not for what I am. I need something genuine. What up, people? <laughs> Um, Kate's mom had um, an attack. She collapsed. Collapsed? Oh, my bad, sorry. Kate's mom had an attack and she collapsed. She blames it on him for humanizing and that he has refused to get a wife. So, Kay needs a girlfriend. Girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> no. Kay needs Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so, I am in a very messed up situation right now, and all you could do you is laugh what? at me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, I really, I really laugh at me. it's fine. Uh, so, if I'm to get this straight, right? Your mom said needs you to settle in order to avoid her from too much worrying, which could probably lead to a high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Well, I have a plan. Okay, you don't necessarily need to get married for your mother to get better. What I think is, your mom wants to see you in a steady relationship. And we can give her that. All we have to do is get a random girl, introduce her to your mama as your baby, and voila! You can buy all the time in the world, pending to when you find your one true love. Of course, if the universe permits it. <laughs> um, that, that's, that, that, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. But... Which girl? Just leave that to me. Lisa, one minute, please. Oh, okay. Excuse me, ma'am. allow Greg talk you into this kind of nonsense. Really? Seriously? Hmm? How was I supposed to know he rose with ugly women? The only one that made sense couldn't even speak English. Mm -mm. She's Tamara. I don't know. She was just trying to make a sentence. Just slapping her face. Come on, guys. You can't blame a brother for trying. I mean, if, if only you had a little patience. Maybe one of them would have appealed to you. I had them all lined up. Really? Uh-huh. Look at who's talking about patience. Craig, I have two questions for you. Question number one, do you not have a speck like the kind of women you like? Question number two, how the hell did you end up with women like that? They I all sent their pictures. <laughs> and I should have them through that. I hate ugly women. Jesus Christ. Wait, wait, was this your Facebook? You, you, you wrote something on it. Send me a picture. What in God's creation was that? Who says the beautiful ones are not yet born? Are you alright? Mm. 
Mm. Whoever said that needs to rethink. But this one right here, it's all shades of beauty. Except that uh -huh. she has a man with her. Mm. Mm. <laughs> wait, wait, you guys want to get your eyes over the face of skirt? Not me. Kyrie. Uh, no, see, you, you do the same thing. Just because you do your own code and it doesn't mean you don't do it. Thank you. Tell him. Go, 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 I hear you. Rick, how did you, how did you get this girls into hey, two things? <sighs> Hi, my name is Kayode. Alex. Nice to meet you. You see, I'm seated over there with my friends, and I couldn't stop looking at you because you're the finest thing I've ever seen. Thank you. All right. Um, but as you can see, I, I know what you want to say. I knew you were someone, but it's okay. Just call me. Here's my card. Call me. You won't regret it. Okay. I'm rich. Done. All right, you can have the soup. <coughs> I've given up on you guys. The two of you. I've given up on you guys. Did you see that girl? What kind of guy is that? Look at his shoes. Jesus Christ. <coughs> What's <was> that? <laughs> What did I miss? Hmm? As the guy proposed. Um, I, I. But I'm watching the film now. So has he proposed? Proposed? Which guy is? <sighs> Look here, my dear. The truth is, I'm not even following the film. My eyes are just there, but my mind is not even there. I have a lot on my mind. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. It's just work pressure and stress. But it's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Okay. I'm, I'm very fine, trust me. Oh. Oh. My dear, let me just go and rest, okay? I'm tired. Yeah, have a good night. Oh. <laughs> Who's this? Um, hi, this is Alex. Alex, Alex. Who's Alex? Yes, Alexandra. We met at... Oh, hi, Alex. Alexander. I, I remember you. I remember you. Come on. I remember you. The tall, slim girl with the big butt, right? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> How are you? So what took you so long to call? I've been expecting your call since 10 years ago. <laughs> at least I called. Uh, yeah. Of course, I would love to see you again. So how about I buy you a drink? Yeah, let's, let's go out for a drink. No, today won't work for me. I have a thing. All right. How about tomorrow? That's perfect, perfect. All right then, see you soon. Okay. All right, I'll call you. Bye. Okay, take care. Bye. Yeah.
How are you? I wasn't expecting you. You didn't tell me you were coming. Well, that's because you've not been picking my calls, Kay. Wait, was I in one night stand? You don't like to sleep with me and dump me. Kay, is that your plan? Because if that's your plan, Kay, you have failed. Me, I will go to my village and do juju for you. Wait, you have failed. Hey, hey, it will not work. Stop. What's wrong with you? Calm down. And nobody's doing juju for anybody. I'm so sorry, I've just been busy. I've been so busy at work. I'm sorry I haven't been taking your calls. But it's not what you think. Okay? All right, let's go inside now. Sorry. That's this way. This is the way. Sorry. So, well, <laughs> you sure you don't want me to walk you? No, it's fine. I mean, my house is just right there. And really? you still have to drive to the island. You sure? Mm-hmm. I could walk you if you want. No, it's fine. Thanks. Talk to you tomorrow. Okay. I had fun tonight, though. Me too. See you. <laughs> yeah, Bye. 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 Just remind me of her at all. Yeah, I was going to Egypt at the time, so I saw bo both of them were on the plane. They were kissing themselves. <laughs> no, I tried to respect people's sexual preferences. No, they were just looking at me like. Fun? What's fun about it? What's fun about it? I don't like to judge people. I respect people's sexual preferences. Trust me, I don't... I used to judge people before, but right now I don't... Yeah. Really? You want to kiss me on the plane? On the plane? <laughs> That's fine. It's
be there winding up and down when you can just go over to his place and let him know how you feel. Express yourself. I don't have feelings for him. Not anymore. Oh, at least you admit that you have feelings for him or had feelings for him, whatever the case may be. What difference will it make? Kay doesn't see me as that. He sees me as his friend and his staff and nothing more. Have you tried talking to him about it? Hell no. I can't do that. I can't come and tell him how I feel about him. He's my friend and that will break our friendship and bring this awkward thing between the two of us. Well, I understand you. Who knows, maybe someday we realize that what is busy looking for miles away was just beside him all along. Look, everything will be all right. You know what? Let's go see a movie. Um, there's this one, I Hire a Man. I heard it's really good. Wait. Is it an American movie? No, it's a Nigerian movie. Hell no. You know I'm not a fan of movies. Not to talk of a Nigerian film. Nah. Nigerian movies are really good. Very annoyingly predictable. Look, moviegoers even prefer to see it compared to international movies. Lisa, we are going to see I Are a Man. Who knows we could hire you a man? Darling, finish up the tea. I didn't suffer making it. I don't want to touch up. You don't want to force somebody out now. If that grab your tea, stand up, drink it as we are leaving. You need to touch up fast. Lisa, I'll finish it now. What up, man? Yo. Yeah. What's up, bro? I'm good. Man, it's been crazy. It's Alex's birthday tomorrow. I can't think of what to get for her. Any ideas? Wait. You mean say you come up me for my office just so that I could ask me what to buy for your babe? Oh my lord. I'm in the middle of work. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh god, I can't believe this. I'm sorry. It's just that I didn't mean to bother you, but it's just crazy, man. I've been here thinking of her. I can't get my mind to think straight. I really like the babe, man. It's just, it's just crazy, bro. Okay, this is typically you, okay? This is the same thing you said about Nena. I'm now call. Oh, wait. Even Evelyn. Oh, come on, man. You'll be fine. Trust me. Meanwhile, I, ha I have a presentation with the board in less than an hour. And you better show up. Not be this one where they sit down here and they think about you. Go punish you. You can't talk with that. So you won't just leave your guy here, right? I remember. Apart from knowing your birthday, I have a reminder on my phone. So how could I have forgotten your birthday? Come on. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So any plans for today? Not really. I have a delivery to make and yeah, that's it. Okay. How about dinner? Mm, that sounds nice. Where? My place. Your place? You want us to order in? No, I'll cook. Cook? <laughs> you cook? Yes, I cook. I want to cook for you. Okay, sounds like a good idea. See you tonight then. And yes, love plenty, Pepe. <laughs> mm, really? <laughs> okay, noted. Plenty, Pepe. <laughs> Alright, once again, happy birthday, babe. Alright? Bye, thanks. 
All right. Have a good day. So I'm in the kitchen right now. I'm trying to make food, but I can't sort myself out. I need your help. Wait, it's okay. You want to cook? You, you want to cook food? That's strange, Joe. What happened? It's Alex's birthday today, and I promised I was going to make something for her. So I need your help. Well, it's even more strange that you have to cook, and it's because of a girl. You, 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 you love her. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, I feel something, but I don't know what it is, okay? I know I feel what I haven't felt for any woman before, so. Are you going to help me out? Hello, are you there? Um, um, sorry, sorry, I got carried away. Uh -huh, what were you saying? Is it fried rice or jollof rice? What's good? Jollof rice. Okay, once your chicken is ready, you just put the stock in one plate and keep that aside and you, you get another pot, a fresh pot, put on the fire. Now you put a little oil in it. Once you put the oil, put your carrots and your other vegetables and then you turn it together, allow it to steam for a while, then you put your rice, drop it and then stir okay. it together and then put it back on the fire. All right. Thanks. Uh, okay, so I'll turn on the fire again. Uh. So when you pull that, you just leave it on the fire and let it get ready. That's all. If you need anything, just call me. I'll be right here waiting to help you. All right. Happy cooking. You need to let Kay know how you feel about him. Look. There's no point. Kay is in love with another girl. He's cooking. <laughs> this is something he hardly does. Kay does not cook. Now he's cooking for a girl. That so means he loves her. So you keep hurting? <sighs> well, it's going to take a little while. But I'll be fine. <laughs> Me, I'm going to let him know how you feel about him. I will help you. I'm going to call him right now. No, 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 no you not do that. Don't call, don't call.
Yo, Greg, what's up, man? Nigga, where you at? You do remember we have a meeting for 9 a.m., right? Oh, shit. Man, sorry I slept off. I didn't know it was morning already. Okay. I'm on my way to your place. No, 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 no. You don't have to come here. I'll be with you shortly. All right, man. Please be on time. Yeah. All right, see you, man. I think we should increase the figures so that we have enough room for negotiation because I'm sure these people will not be willing to pay the price we're asking for. And if the price is... Sorry about that. That's fine. Um, so once uh, uh, the figures has been increased, we have room for negotiation. So after going back and forth, we know that we've come to, we've come to a conclusion where we get the exact price we're asking for. Uh -huh. So. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. And, 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 oh, sorry. Sorry, like, uh, yes, once we, 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 we have an exact price we're asking for, but then let's just. Are you sure you don't want to take that? You know she will not stop calling. Maybe she has an explanation to give, just... I'm sorry. Um, okay, like I was saying, the price, yes. An increase in the figures would help us. So after much going back and forth, we would... It's good. Yeah. Hello, sir. There's a certain Miss Alex online too. Do I put her through? Tell her I'm in a meeting. Listen, tell her never to call this office again, all right? Okay, sir. Good. I'm so sorry. Please, just hear me out. Please. Please. I'm so sorry. You're sorry about what? What do you think this is? Sesame Street? Tom and Jerry? Is that what you take me for? And if you must know, I was only trying to please my mom. But that's over because I'm done with you. Okay, okay, please. I'm sorry. I would not intentionally hurt you. I swear. I'm sorry. I was held hostage by my ex-boyfriend. He sees my phone, he locked me up. I couldn't reach you. I, I tried. Look at what he did to me. Your boyfriend did this to you? To my ex-boyfriend, yes. You date men that hit women? Hey, no. I don't know. I'm sorry. I owe him a huge sum of money. You know what? Let's just go inside and I'll tell you everything. Please. All right, come in. Thank you.
Stop! It starts with me. Sorry, sorry. Mm. What are you making? You first. I'm sorry. Of course I did. <laughs> no, sir. Okay. Where are your guests? When are they coming? I'm sure they're on their way. What are you making? Veggie papers. Oh, really? Nice. Can I have some tomatoes? No. Can I have some? No, babe. Raw tomatoes. No. It's good for you. Oh, uh, yuck. It is. Put it here. Thank you. Put it. Babe, uh, put it. Are you gonna eat it? Put it. Don't kiss me with that mouth. Mm. You're not kissing me today. She babe, you're not kissing me. Come Yes. Hold on, guys. You know me too well, brother. Huh? But, but Kill, <laughs> this one that you invited us for lunch, what was the occasion? I don't understand. What kind of question is that? Must there be an occasion before I invite my friends over? <laughs> ah, ah. Hm. Kill, you're looking so excited. Is there something you're not telling us? Something like that. Because the last time I checked, you were heartbroken. Me? Heartbroken? How? <laughs> Philip? Kayode, Oluwale, aka the Terminator. You did not tell her. <laughs> hey, brother. <laughs> That's very funny. For you. Mm. He said Terminator. Yeah. You've not told us. I just invited you guys over to eat. That's all. You're not a serious one. You? Hi, my name is Alex. Are you looking for something? Hey! Are you looking for something? I want a glass of juice. Okay. So let me serve you today. Why don't you go back to the living room and I'll get whatever you need. Wait, are you? Are you gonna cook with this? Yes. Because Kay doesn't like garlic and ginger in his meal. No, that's it. They already know me. I'm all about my money. I don't have time for these people. You know that already. They don't have money. There's no need doing business with. Are you all right? Just like that. She came back and you accepted her just like that. I can't believe you. Well. I don't know what to say. She came and she apologized. Gave me a few reasons why. What I stupid reasons could that be? Any girl could just wake up and cook stories. But for you to, to fall lying sick and look at it, what baffles me? Hey, Lisa. Take it easy. I'm sure Kay has everything under control. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Look, it's just that I've seen you hurt before and I don't want it happening again. See, I understand you're trying to look out for me, all right? Trust me. Hey, come here. Alex, this is Lisa. 
Lisa is an assistant at the office, my assistant actually at the office, and my very good friend. And this big head here, his name is Greg. Greg is a software engineer and is in charge of that department in my company. I want you guys to meet Alex. Alex is a very cool person. It's nice to meet you guys. He goes on and on about you. Yeah. Lunch is almost ready and he serves shortly. So, five minutes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> See hot legs. What did you say? That babe. Hey, you came here to eat food, all right? Just yeah. focus on the food, man. Of course, of course. No, sorry, stop. I wasn't. <laughs> hey, I was going to say you're such a good cook. I never knew you cooked that good. I mean, the sauce was amazing. Thanks, babe. But you know, at some point, I thought it wasn't nice with the way Lisa was squeezing her face. I can tell she doesn't like me. Lisa? <laughs> no, no. Lisa is such an amazing girl. I'm sure she likes you and she likes your food. Come on. Babe, she doesn't like me. Didn't you see the way she was staring at me? You could see the venom in her eyes. Okay, I even offered her a hand earlier in the kitchen and she turned me down. Really? Yes, really. I think she likes you. Likes me? Yes. Lisa likes me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's possible she likes me as her boss and her friend, period. Babes, come on. I'm a lady. I can tell you when we like a guy. You need to see her in the kitchen earlier. She goes, Kay doesn't like too much ginger. Kay doesn't like too much pepper. Kay doesn't uh, like this. Kay doesn't like that. Babes, for real. She couldn't even hide the fact that she doesn't like me. Oh, come on. I'm sure it what happened the other time. She was only trying to protect me. That's all. Protect you? Yeah. Protect you from what? From me? She was just looking out for me. Come on. Hey, listen. I'm sure when you get to know her better, you guys, you know, get acquainted with yourselves, you probably end up as good friends. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But girls, though, you girls are always very dramatic with yourselves. Guys are never like that. Guys handle seriously, everything. Is that all you're going to say right now? <laughs> no, but seriously. But this is different. No, but truly, guys Babe, are not no, like that. It's different. Guys, I like her. They have the ability to handle every situation. Girls just get so dramatic all the I'm time. I'm not being dramatic. I like her. I'm trying my best. But come on. You're even judging her without knowing her. I'm not judging her. I like her. So... You do? Yes. Okay, I'm sure she likes you and likes your food. Okay, fine, thank you. Hey, you're mad, aren't you? Now go go punish you! I'm mad. Hey, hey. Why do you think that you've been? Oh, because you don't get out of it. Hey, 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 muscle, you got to say you want to have I go on boy, you don't even read it anymore. You don't fit talk to me about this level you come. No stick come! You don't care! Then I will give you more shit. You wanna know who give me moves? You wanna know who give me moves? You gonna know now. You gonna know. I should have made a fillet, you feel like you talk like that. This is not because you're really gonna respect. Me, a fillet, you feel like you talk like this. I think I worry you. Eh? Come on, shut up there, your man, before I summer tennis come out for your age now. Come on, Evan! Drop me if you get the end! Drop me! Hold yourself. Thank you. 
Just show yourself now. Show yourself. Yes, sir. Ah, what did I do to you, brother? Let me for this compound. Now, when I go into a voice, where do I stay here? Let me do a voice, do a voice, do a voice. No, my dear. Bastard man. You want me to wash our dirtiness for outside of this? No, Allah. I go wash them and I go drink it up. Where did you go? Still, Every you time. Go? Because we will meet Baba we only. We go collide now with milk guy. Now you want to jump in? You don't do cause of matter. Now you don't talk about it. Let me. Now you go talk about it. Now you go talk about it. Now you go carry the guy. Oh, now you jump in money. Now you. Now we talk about guy. Oh. If you don't want to kill yourself, you want to kill yourself. Police come by yourself. Ah, kill yourself. No, no. How many people have to police come by themselves? I don't care. Ah. And what's up is that you refuse to come and see me. Oh, mommy, I am so sorry. I've been so busy at work, so many things to do at the office. I'm so sorry. Mm. So your mother is not one of those on your list. Have you been Mommy, Emma, I'm sorry. It's not intentional. Please. How are you, though? I'm good. Except for the fact that I'm getting ready to go to the office now. To the office? Mommy, you barely just came back. The office should be the last thing on your mind. So you expect me to stay alone in the house? Adibeko? But mom, what are you talking about? Body is right there with you. So you expect me to be playing with body? I said give me grandchildren so that I will have something. I will have people to play with. Kyle D. Ah. Mommy. You've got grandkids. See me and Ope are your grandkids. Come on. Is it the same thing as yours? Let me see no more. <laughs> Mommy, you'll never change. But trust me, all that will soon change. Because I met a girl. Mm. Like you only see. Mm. Anyway, the reason why I called you is because... Uh, your sister is coming over on Sunday for lunch. So she said you should also be around. Oh, really? Perfect. Then I could just come along with my new friend. But mom, I must warn you. She's not a Yoruba girl. Oh. <laughs> Whether you like her, let her be Tanzania, Ghanaian, Togolese, even Oyibo, Kurami. Just bring a girl. As long as she's from a very good home and has good manners. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mommy. Sunday is perfect. I'll see you on Sunday. Have a pleasant day. Bye. Bye. Okay. All right. <laughs> Funny woman. Okay. Ah. You're a cheat. I'm a cheat. I'm just a better player. Play by cheating. There you go. <laughs> Why don't you just accept defeat? I win again. Hey. You're cheating. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave me alone. <laughs> that reminds me. My mother asked me over for dinner and I want you to come with me. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah, perfect time to meet my family, my sister, everybody. I would love to. Really? Oh, that's great. You really enjoy it. Mm. Yeah. That's your call. Why don't you go to check that? No, it's fine. Shoe? 
Yeah. That's your call. Why don't you go check that? No, it's F.A. F.A.? What does he want? I thought you paid him off already. Babe, you know F.A. is such a bully. He bullies everyone around him. He knows I'm dating a rich guy and he's trying to extort money from me. Okay. Why don't you call the police? Babe, <laughs> the police? F.A. will get out in a day. And he will even make life more unbearable for me. Babes, please, okay? Just let me handle this. I promise I can handle this. Please. Please. Okay. Okay, fine. Speaking of your mom. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah? Do you think she'll like me? Don't oh, listen to bust my brain now. I'm going to call this girl. She's not going to pick her call. Okay. Just... Based on logistics, Adi, because I, I follow you, they talk now. Eh? Now you hope a fake when they call you, now you look at the pick call, eh? You turn the way to fire you, then never even manufacture and come. <laughs> Better carry this call, Lou. What carry me to play for here? Oh. Hey, Lisa. Hey. Okay. I'm all right. How are you? I'm fine. So my mother wants us to have lunch at hers. I'm calling to find out if you're free tomorrow. Okay. All right. Sunday is fine. Um, I haven't told him yet, but I'll put a call across to him once I get off the phone. All right, then. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. So, as I was saying, ma, when we were in the university back, you know, when we were younger, there's this thing we used to stay, it was like uh, the reign of Donatus. Then students would come back home tired and gisting in the evenings and all that with each other, laughing and all that. And then our, anyway, the guy, Donatus, is actually our landlord. Donatus walks in and he's like, why are all, all of you gossiping me? Why are you laughing at me? What are you people discussing? You're discussing me and me. No, it was mixed. More than hey, I know. hey, hey. <sighs> hey, I was going to say, are you sure you were not chasing his daughter? Hey! Ah, nice How can you say that your mom is here chasing his daughter? No, I wasn't. We really don't know what his problem was, but Donato just had his own personal issues. There were even times when Donato would come back home and ask everybody to go back into their rooms. Before seven, what kind of landlord does that? Anyway, as I was saying, why would I be changed? Did I even tell you that Donatus had, had a daughter? No, but I'm wondering why he's not coming. <laughs> Effie, what is this? Why are you calling me? Do you think I'm playing here? I'm trying to get the money. You need to calm down. It's not that easy. With you. Oh, yeah. not you not paying so if, much rent. If you guys had involved him in the gist, maybe it would have been better. Why should we involve Donatus in the gist? Like, it was our landlord. <laughs> no, I wasn't chasing <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, you need to clean that up. So. Do you think it just. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. What is it? Are you training me now? Someone can I have a peaceful conversation without some monitoring spirits around? Why are you acting guilty? Aha. Uh -huh. You know what? I know there is something fishy about you, but I'm yet to wrap my head around it. Do you know your problem? You are in love with your boss. And you can't handle the fact that he's in love with me. So, baby girl, stop living in denial because you know why? I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Let 
Look, you know you're a very, very smart girl. I know. I like mm-hmm. you. You're very. You're playing your game so nicely, so right. But hey, Kylie is my boss and my best friend. And you know what I do to my best friends? I protect them. I love them so much that I protect them from the claws of Jezebels like you. And until I find out what you're up to, then we will have a conversation. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh, good luck, fine women. I knew that girl is evil. You know I always say, but you tell me that, no, it's my emotions coming into play. So what do you intend to do now? You know you didn't really get the conversation. So it's possible she's not even up to something. I don't need a suitor to tell me that she's up to something. You need to see the way she was panicked when I entered inside the bathroom. Her actions alone will just tell you that this girl is definitely up to something. Then you should let Kay know. <laughs> I won't let Kay know. I need to take a little time to watch her, study her, and know what exactly she's up to. <laughs> uh. Hey, handsome. What's, what's for me? What are you doing? Hey, babe. I'm just trying to sort a few things out. Oh, okay. Anyways, babe, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. Okay. Okay, there's this uncle of mine. Babes, are you listening to me at all? I am. He's looking for an IT firm to handle his um, business. And, you know, so he actually... He's looking for an IT firm. Yeah? Um, You know, to work in the company and do stuff and try to also... You know, Are you sure we should take this? How credible is this company? You know we've worked so hard to build our reputation. And we must trade cautiously to keep it. Yeah. They came in highly recommended. Besides, we have nothing to lose. <sighs> All right. If you say so. Yeah, I just said that. Um, so, who is representing us? I think Mr. Peterson would be perfect for it. No. I think you fit in more. I mean, to think you have a master's degree in digital marketing and you're very hands-on with visuals. Besides, women are very, very convincing in terms of turning on, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> are you trying to hold me off just for a gig? No, I would never hold you off to Obama even for one day. Trust me, it's just business. All right. I'll do it. Yep. So, what are the details? Okay, sit down and I'll tell you what to do. Anywhere you go, I'll go. I have to be with you. Anything you do, I'll do. I want to be a mule. Slowly killing me. Your distance really tearing me. It's slowly pushing me. Your absence really pushing me. Hotel. 
Hello? Yes, I, I'm here. All right. Lisa? Yes, Mr. Robert. Yeah. Come in. Do you know you're beautiful? Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Hey. Relax. I'm not going to ask you to sleep with me. Besides, I'm not that type of man. And your company. I already won the contract. Ah, oh, th thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. But I need a favor from you. Favor? Yes. W what type of favor, sir? Can I trust you? It depends. With due respect to your uncle, I have known Lisa for quite some time now. And apart from her working here as my assistant, she's my very good friend. And I don't think for any reason she would ever stoop that low to get a contract. So are you saying he's lying? Anyways, he's almost here, so let's wait. Your company could have known better than sending a whore over to us. I mean, for just a deal. Every rich old man is not as randy as everyone thinks. Yeah, Lisa. Come to my office now. So you sent for me? Yes. That's the young woman. Seducing me in my hotel room. Lisa. Lisa. What, what, what is he saying? I have no clue what this man is talking about. I don't know why we are still debating about this. I recorded it. Is this not your voice? I recorded it before I sent her out because I know that she will deny this. And the best part is, I love my men, old, strong, and rugged. Just I'm, like you. I don't have time for this. You need to sanitize your staff. Lisa, I 
just heard your voice. That, that's my voice. I'm, I'm not denying it, but it's not what happened. Lisa. I, so I can explain. I can explain. Lisa, <laughs> you. I trusted you. I, I can explain. I can explain everything. It's not what... You don't have to believe everything. Lisa, Lisa. This is hard for me. You need to understand that this is hard for me. Not as much as I want to think about this. I need to clear my head. You need to take a break. Okay. Take a day or two off. Listen. Just get out. Jesus. Okay. Just get out. Just get out. Was the contracts for the company. Look, I didn't do what they're accusing me of. I did not do it. I was just trying to help. I did this for Kay, for the company. This is me trying to help them. Lisa, I believe you. You just have to find out who is behind it. Because to me, this looks like a framework. I love it. Alex is responsible for it all. You need to see her face. The green on her face when this whole thing was happening, the green of satisfaction, like, yes, I have done it. For real? Mm hmm. She's saying all this to just get me out of Kay's life completely so that she can have him all to herself. And you're just going to sit here and let that happen? What am I supposed to do? Look, I am done trying to help Kay. I'm done trying to be a good friend. I'm done trying to be nice and what it is life. It is business. Let him do whatever he wants to do. I'm done trying. I'm not even doing anything. It doesn't concern me again. Lisa, it wasn't Kay's fault. The poor guy was just caught between the devil and the deep blue sea. You are just going to sit down here and let that blow that ruin his life? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Hmm? What? Come on, Greg. I didn't fire her. Then how come she stopped showing up for work nor return any of my phone calls? I don't know. I only asked her to take a day or two off because I needed to think. 
I needed to clear my mind about the situation, and that's all. If she decides not to come to work, that's a funeral. What do you want me to do? Call her. That's what friends do. Really? Call her? Why not? I can't do that. Like I said, if she decides not to come to work, that's her decision. Listen, does it mean I can't talk to someone I pay every month? Why does she have to disappear each time we try to have a conversation? Hold up, Kay. This is different. You choose the side of total strangers over her. Under any normal circumstances, she would feel hurt. You didn't even give her enough room to explain herself. You just asked her to leave? Come on, Kay. I don't know anyone that can fill up the Lisa vacuum if she decides never to show up again. I'm out of here, man. I have so much work to do. And while we're at it, you may want to compile the numbers for high tech and have them sent. Lisa would have done that this morning. Did you know this place? <laughs> Don't you trust me again? Oh, have you forgotten my nickname in school? This is just a small walk. Hey, that, that's the man! That's the man who kept a grip of himself! Do you need to ruin our chances? Let's just wait and see what he's up to. Oh my goodness, that's a bitch. So she paid this man to set me up. At least now we have the evidence that we need. All we have to do is to speak to someone in the compound and find out more about her. Calm down, okay? Yes, there's a lady. There's a lady. Let's go with her. Let's go with her. Who's there, madam? Eh, how much for this weapon? Let's see your hand there, Anna. Only fifteen naira. Hey, sister, please. Uh, excuse me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Do you live in that compound? This one. This compound. Yeah. And Adia, they stay with you. Sorry, do you know Alex? Alexandra. She's slim, tall, light skinned, and she gets tattoo for breast. Ajiro. Ajiro. You know we call her that in school. We call her Alex. We call her Ajiro. Alexandra. Yeah. And now, what's your phone? Ah, there is no problem. Uh, okay. Now, our brother and girlfriend, uh, he won't marry him, so we can't find out whether that girl nice, get you know, better character. With good character, uh, you know that if, kind of thing. If she did be better, papa and mama, you know that kind of thing now. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, hey, madam, this weapon, uh, how much na son are they selling last now? 100. 100 naira. Come on. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, no, no, come on. Let me make a count. Eh, Ejiro, eh, I know him. Eh, Ejiro, would he stay for the same compound now? But the thing is, where they say, he know they stay with his parents. Eh, I just say, his parents then they stay for worry. And there, the mama they take care of him picking. Nah, Efe, they stay with for this place. Efe, eh, na, Efe, how stupid, useless boy. You know they bring money come house at all. Every time you go send the girl, make the girl go the hustle. The girl go hustle, 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 carry money come. You know where she go carry money come that day? Hey, now quarry and fight to go take settle for house that day. Ah, no be smart. Even the age you say, she not get better character. Ah, girl, you know those they try for anything at all. Only quarry, you go quarry today, you go fight tomorrow. Age you. Now so, my sister. Okay, thank you. No well, madam. I can't give you the pepper. <laughs> Maybe you add them uh, one thing to master. How dare you? How dare you lie to me? How dare you, Alex? Oh, 
You even lied about your name. No, no. Alex is my English name from bed. I swear. Oh, shut up! For a second, I thought I had found the right person. I never knew I was being played all the while. No, no. At first, it was supposed to be... It was supposed... I fell in love with you in the process. Huh? I love you. I fell in love in the process. Shut up! Now, where do I start from? That you framed Lisa up? That you even have a son and never told me about it? That the guy you told me was your ex is actually the love of your life? Or that you are a gold digging bastard looking for the highest bidder? Which one, Lisa? <laughs> Please, I'm sorry. Now listen to me. Go upstairs, pack your things, and get the hell out of my house. Gay! Gay, please, I'm sorry, I love you so much. I won't repeat myself again. Gay, please, please, I'm sorry, Gay. Please, I'm go on, boy, shoot! Go on, go on, go on! Go on, 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 Excuse me? Were you talking to me? No, no, no. I wasn't talking to you. Did I hear you say God will punish me? No, no, no. I said God will punish them, but not you. Oh, fine. Come and pack your things. I'm waiting for you. As a matter of fact, don't even come back. Don't. I'll get your things for you. Okay, please. Okay. It's written all over her. It's in her eyes. All over her. Look at the way she treats you, the way she talks to you, the way she, you know, does things around you. I mean, she's really, really in love with you. And come to think of it, what's, what's the matter with you? What are you looking for? What you're searching for is just at your doorstep. So why not open and receive it? Please, son, think about it.
Lisa, your phone is ringing. Who is calling? It's Kate. No, I don't want to talk to you. Why not? You know what? I want some of your behalf. Hi, Kay. Hey. Uh, it's Cecil. Lisa is in the bathroom. Oh. Cecil. Any message? Yeah. Kindly tell her I need to talk to her real quick. It's urgent. Please. Okay. Take care now. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> He wants to see you over lunch tomorrow. I'm not going anywhere. Lisa, come on. The dude is sorry. And you know that's because you are going. I'm not going anywhere. Thank you. My friend, take this. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Follow my lead. Come. <laughs> 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 